Honey Mustard production by Chrome? There's a song uh, for this? Okay. Eating a burger with no honey mustard produced by Chrome from A. All right. Uh-huh. Hey, we're live. Hey, we're live. Uh-huh. Yeah, Eating a burger with no honey with mustard. Eating a burger with no honey mustard. 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 Oh, got, so Roger, got, say it we again. Got McDared. We got McDared. McDared, where you at, bro? McDared. Me. I got chased by a dog. It oh, got on my belt. Try to time. Produced by <laughs> McDare. Oh, McDare. How you doing, man? Yeah, me, me too, bro. You good? Hey, uh, Fidel, bro. bro. Wait, Fidel, you're not the host. What are you doing? <laughs> bro, I was just talking to McDare. You were talking to McDare? That's not your job. How about you sit down? Let me introduce oh, McDare. He's hey, not. Let me introduce. How about oh. we start there? Uh, I just got back. Hello. What's up, everyone? <laughs> I, uh, oops. But hey. Crazy. I didn't know this show. What was the hell is going Fidel. on? I don't know what's going on is this is the final Japan Time podcast of 2020. I'm your host, Rogers Bass. <laughs> Joining me, we got my co-host, the one, the only, Mr. Gonna Get the Bag for Tem Tem Shofu. What's going on, Shofu? I may have lost a few chicken nuggets. <laughs> We've got Tito. What's going on, Tito? I'm eating a burger with no honey mustard. We got Mike. Uh, I can't think of anything burger related. That's all good. Viram? Good evening, everybody. Nice. We got Zeph. Hi. And then we have Fidel. What's going on, Fidel? Oh, I'm great. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why'd you scream? I, I may have that. lost a few chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> so we, have a, what you cannot find. we have a lot of stuff to go over for this week's show. It's been a very busy two weeks. Lots of games got revealed. Lots of news. We got the Super Nintendo World event. We've got... Um, we have to talk about Sephiroth, I guess, first. Well, yeah, let's start with Sephiroth, post-release. What does everybody think about Sephiroth? I oh, fucking love that it. character. Whoa. The character's fucking, fucking sick, dude. dude clean it That's out, what boy. I'm <laughs> so we're we're playing time. the game again. <laughs> Go ahead, Viram. All right. So you already know what I was talking about with regards to Smash before. I was I was kind of out of the game, you know what I'm saying? After Steve, I was like, I don't really, you know, I'm not I'm not into Smash anymore. In comes Sephiroth, the most fun I've had playing this game in literal months. I am very, very happy. Anybody disagree with that? Um, I think he's cool, but I don't like I don't think he, I don't think he feels good. But he's fun oh. to play, if that makes sense. I don't Why don't know. you think he uh, feels good? Curiously, I don't know. He feels weird. His up air makes me think of brawl mods. Oh. That's all. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Exactly yeah, I, I need you to. I need you to elaborate, man. I don't know, man. His move set makes me think of some like fan Project M character. But is that all. good or bad? That's both. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. It's like some, it. some, some things about. Okay, so like. He, he rewards good fundamentals, which I really like, so I play him a lot. But uh, there's a lot of small things about him that piss me off, like his uh, his Nair. I don't know why it makes me mad, but uh, I always Isn't whiff it. Nair pretty good? I think it, yeah, it's good. It's but yeah. it's very good. I just think it's bigger than it is because there's like little light effects. And then the thing that pisses me off the most, I think everyone can agree, uh, his shield sound his down b sound effect and shield animation come out before the counter is active that so a lot of those actually yeah. yeah does it really yeah yeah uh, i never play character with counters it's it's so fucking annoying yeah well both counters and ultimate get sped up so once they're out like if a sound effect goes off on a counter it's kind of out his is just a very oddly coded yeah, it, counter it plays the sound mm. and the shield yeah, shows up just but i still active. lose yeah right i guess i, I did that because yeah, you can just weird. use it and it goes out anyway yeah. So they delayed it slightly. It's, yeah, it's weird. It's also what annoys me about it. It can be reflected. You just die. Yep. That's yeah. weird. Yeah, yeah, Min can kill him with his reflector. <laughs> well, that was the thing is I, I rarely played Min Min online, but uh, the first weekend with Sephiroth, it was like everybody was using him and nobody knew how to use him. Yeah. Like there were so many people who just wanted to go online and play with Sephiroth. So I got Min Min into Elite Smash. I got a bunch of other characters in Elite Smash just playing against Sephiroth. And uh, one thing I actually linked in the Discord, I don't know if you could pull this up, Shofu, but it's a link to a, a fight that I had. I was playing as Pichu, and this other guy was playing as Sephiroth, and this was quite possibly the saddest thing I have ever seen while playing online. This person what? clearly did not understand how to play Sephiroth, uh, oh did the God. wrong thing in that situation. Um, 
I don't know how else to set up the clip, but if you want. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Show that on screen. I'm sure people would appreciate looking. At Jesus. Uh, he could have used like three different moves. Could have used a bunch of different moves. Oh, this yeah. is the, this actually ties. After, I'll I'll let him play with the kill clip. And this ties this ties exactly with the biggest problem I have with uh, with Sephiroth. Like, yeah. So what's yeah. your uh, what's your biggest problem with Sephiroth? Then? My biggest problem with Sephiroth is the big. Oh, oh he's gonna play the clip. Go ahead and play. The clip. Okay, oh, yeah, play the clip. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so oh my god. <laughs> so you get that beautiful final smash, and then uh, yeah, <laughs> just completely missing. <laughs> <laughs> <That's my dude>. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what kind of trash ass? Who is this? Just oh some random player. God, I didn't want to lead smash, and I had to clip oh, it. Man, it was yeah. funny. That's, yeah, that's tough. <laughs> what, okay, no, no, no. What, I wanna, what the hell does this have to do with what Tito wants to say? No, what I, no, okay, so this is exactly what I want to say, is that... What do you want to say? Is that a lot of... Sakurai's so good at creating characters to be as tried and true to the actual character. It's it's incredible. It's art, to be <clears> honest. <throat> um, but the issue with a lot of it is that it creates really specialized characters that don't function, like, as good... As, as what would be a quote-unquote a good fighting character. But what I mean by that is... Sephiroth is so good at certain things. He has good range. He plays World Wars Fundamentals. But he gets fucked up and has a really hard time against really short characters, against like against characters that rush him down like Fox. Bro, I actually, I actually Mario disagree. Now. Them I actually disagree. From what I've seen, I could be wrong, but from what I've seen and how I've played, it just seems very. The more specialized a character it seems, uh, the the Sephiroth, not Sephiroth, but just characters in general in Smash mm. specifically, because there's like so many characters. There's Shofu, so many do you disagree different. with him saying this about the specialized characters or the Sephiroth thing specifically? The Sephiroth thing specifically. Okay. Yeah. I uh, I, I don't think he struggles up close as much as people think, but it's definitely his weakness. Yeah. Other than the yeah. fact that he weighs the same as fucking Olimar, despite being that's, six yeah, foot two. Yeah, that's yeah that is very <laughs> odd. It's real. It's really random. But yeah, like my. It's for balancing, I'm sure, but it's just so stupid. Right. Yeah. But like for. I'm maybe maybe it's not particular in the case with Sephiroth because again I've only my playing experience with him is limited and obviously I'm not playing like top tier Sephiroth at this point but it's just a thing that happens a lot especially with these really cool DLC like like Min Min or like the more the more specialized the character because he cares so much about getting it right like to try and treat the character I mean I don't it, think I don't uh, with a roster this big I don't think you necessarily need to make somebody that's, that's good at I'm, fighting everybody that's sure, what I'm sure. saying mm. that's I mean, it's not a fighting game anyway, so I guess it doesn't That's matter. Facts. I, I also think Sakura the... even said that during the presentation. <laughs> no, 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 hold on. He, he, he right. said the guy. He said I wanted to make it. He didn't say he made it that way. Yeah. All right, man. Huh? Yeah, we wanted some so one, one, game, one thing that I think is that with the nature of how this game is, I feel like there's a good number of those more specialized characters that lose, especially harder to those like smaller faster characters in this game in particular mm. despite the fact that the overall balance is probably better i agree and i think i think that's just kind of a um a side effect of them upgrading those smaller characters in the way that they have mm -hmm. uh, if you look at if you look at like pikachu in smash 4 for instance they balanced out you know his size and the fact that he pancakes a lot on his aerials and other moves by giving them a lot of lag but then in ultimate they removed all of that lag so the character becomes incredibly hard to hit and punish for a lot of characters. While also the fact that they made shield grabs worse, they made a lot of out shield worse in general. If you don't have a good out shield aerial, then yeah. you know you're struggling in a lot of those situations. And small fast characters also benefit from the, from the engine as well. Like more exactly. than any other, more than any other archetype outside of like maybe maybe like grappler characters, like super super heavyweights, like mm -hmm. small short short light fast characters, Pichu, Pikachu. Olimar That's why I'm not a fan of the competitive scene. It's so fucking annoying to play against all the best characters in the game. Yeah, despite the fact that they're, you know, the gap between the best characters and the worst characters is the yeah. smallest it's ever been. It's they're just of... so annoying compared to every other top tier. Like, the other top tiers in the other Smash games were decisively good, but didn't really do a lot to piss me off like meta knight camping whatever that's sort of annoying bayonetta one shotting whatever whatever but i'd rather deal with that than my moves whiffing against this fucking pikachu that turned into a line on the ground i, I it just doesn't feel good but don't you think like that comes with the experience of knowing the character like and knowing the matchup so you say okay i'm playing a sephiroth i know that this pikachu is most likely going to 
you know, crouch in certain situations. So instead of going for like a, a forward, oh, action, yeah, go for a yeah, I'd, uh, I, I'd do that. It's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just the character is annoying. That's all. Oh, I, yeah. I feel like especially, it's also... especially online. I feel like it's also a little more because then there's stuff. The stuff part of the ultimate that annoys me is like there's way too many smash attacks that hit your shield with it. It's just safe. You cannot punish them. Yep. I so now you're shit. you're like forced in the situation where now you have to read what they're going to do next. But they also could just do something else and you're just at disadvantage still. While if you do the same thing back, you like lose on the exchange. So like, that's the one thing that bothers me because that's like end of Smash 4. I felt Smash 4 turned into a very much I'm playing my game and like a lot of the top tiers in Smash 4 where I'm playing my game. And you also have to play my game in order to actually do anything against me. Well, a lot of ultimate got rid of that, except this the smash attack thing, where like Wolf, for instance, can just press like F smash, and then if it hits your shield, well, you he's at advantage, so you need to figure something out. So I, I'm curious, of... though, oh, not to cut you off. Go ahead, Fidel. No, I was gonna say like on the more like ca like because I like play competitively but casually, like I'm not talking about like startup hit frames and all this stuff. For me, like it's just like. He feels like a very, like a very badass character that's very fun and easy to get into, but like feels powerful. Cause like a character like Steve, you really have to like play him a shit ton to like really play him well. Cause like you're doing yeah. all the mining yeah, collections. He's still my favorite all, character all in the game. Yeah, I, I'm with you, Zeph. He's my favorite there too. Uh, but like he's just, he's just like Sephiroth just feels cool to play. I was like, he's not got this like crazy complex. You just pick him up, play him, and it's like a good time. That's funny because I I absolutely hate playing as Steve. <laughs> I really oh, exactly. and I right, tried yeah. and it's yeah. like <laughs> but Sephiroth instantly I picked him up. I figured out sort of like what his best tools were. Yeah, I really mm -hmm. like his nair. I know you guys mentioned earlier talking about his nair, but I like his nair. Um, yeah, there's probably I like the range of his different attacks. And you know I, I forgot who brought it up earlier too, but like the fact that you don't necessarily feel like he feels like Sephiroth, like feeling like the actual character. Whereas I think I got to disagree with that. Cause when you land a giga flare, you, you charge all the way up, you're going against somebody who doesn't know what to expect. And you actually land it and you kill them with this massive explosion. Or like you end up landing a final smash if they've got the smash meter on and you end up going to that awesome meteor attack. I mean, there are a few characters that are as satisfying as Sephiroth. And I think a big reason for that actually goes down his victory screen too. Like every that's time I win with him and I see his badass victory screen. Yeah. <laughs> well, when, you're you're him, three, you when you're playing crazy. as him and his theme starts playing. Oh, it's so oh, good. good. You know, you know what's you know what's maybe maybe that's what it is. Because when you said it out loud, actually, I when I played several, I expected to play like fast as when I think of what several is gonna play like in my head before right. I play the character, I think I'm gonna play as fast as fuck Ike. If that makes sense. Oh yeah, like, totally. I'm like, but, yeah, but I'm like actually, a fucking savage monster. Right, but I'm yeah, actually, no. what I'm, what I'm actually, no, but what I'm saying is based off of like, you know, all the media and and, and based in like all the cinematics for every fight he's ever been in. Okay. Like okay. he's he's, he's, move, yeah, he's, he's moving, he's moving, he's moving fast as shit. Moving he, has fast these... as shit. he has a big ass sword. He's using magic with his spells. His he cuts literal planets in half or whatever the fuck he does. But instead, yep. I'm playing like, I'm. I feel like I'm playing more like Richter. Like, I feel like I'm playing more like Belmont. I'm spacing with fair a lot. Bro. I'm waiting on legend, throwing out a projectile. Like, I feel like I'm playing a Belmont. Like, it's so weird. I think I'm that so, actually I'm is a good so way to put it though. Yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm so fucking tired of these tall characters grabbing like they're handicapped in the fucking head. Bro, I why did say that. Why, you, is there something wrong with your arm? Why can't you stretch that motherfucker all the way Captain out? Falcon does the same thing. Is Donkey your shoulder Kong? dislocated, bro? What the fuck? Just, that shit like, doesn't make any sense. Reach. <laughs> I, I really feel like they go, they're go. they going out of their way to make their grabs shit on purpose. Why? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like they have it in mind. It's like... Yeah. It's like he has a lot of range, so he should have a bad grab. But I, I feel like it's that, and I feel like also Cloud and Sephiroth don't really grab. But so on top like, of that, on top of that, Zev, his grabs are also trash. His throws are fucking trash. Yeah, so, <laughs> his up throw so doesn't even chain into up throw. If half you're the gonna time. make his throw, tr if you're gonna make his grab trash, make his throws better, or vice versa. <laughs> I don't care. The only thing that comes positive out of his throw is like back throw bear or f throw tech chase. That's, yeah, he has really the low it. percent combos and he has the back throw bear kill combo if they don't DI, but like other than that, what the fuck do you actually have? Yeah. I guess you know throwing people in the air is always a good thing with Severa because of his up air taking up the whole screen, but you don't really I have mean, trouble getting them in the air to begin with. As a as a casual player, just that kind of goes back to the Belmonts though, too, right? That it's not a character you're gonna use in every situation, but it's a character that like yeah. you have the right situation for it, you could devastate people. Right. You're not you're I feel like it'd be so hard to solo 
I think Except it's impossible to solo. Like, right, like, right. Bro, like, literally, literally, Roger. When I I tried to tell somebody that, and they were like, they were like, bro, I don't know how to, I don't know how to play Sephiroth, like, because he's playing him like a sword character. And I'm like, no, 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 play him like a Belmont. As soon as he was like, oh, okay, he started beating ass immediately, <laughs> immediately. And like, and to me, maybe that's a big reason why I'm kind of having a disconnect is that I don't have a I don't have the nostalgia of Sephiroth the sure. way like a lot of people here do because sure. he's cool, but like you know whatever. But like to me, he doesn't play what I thought he would play like, and I guess that's my fault for having, you know, pre preconceived notions. But like, it's just it's just so weird because he plays. He's the character. He's the one sword character in the game that plays nothing like a sword character, like right. like at all. See, for me, as somebody who doesn't like how the Belmonts feel at all, um, I think one of the big things that Sephiroth has over them is that mobility. The fact that you know, and and, and Byleth as well, because I remember making the comparison between Belmonts and Byleth as well. Uh, very very similar kinds of characters, but him being at least somewhat fast and of course he becomes really fast with his in his winged form sure uh, i think helps a lot in terms of just like the character just feels a lot smoother than the belmonts and just as a whole to me he actually does kind of feel like how a boss character would be balanced exactly. yeah. i think a lot of that yeah, comes definitely. down to you know him having the one wing mechanic it's like in a fighting game when you 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 reach round two versus, I don't know, Akuma or Bison at the end of Street Fighter, and suddenly they're way stronger uh, than they were before. That's what it feels like to me when playing Sephiroth. I haven't even thought um, about the wing mechanic. I do wish that, like, I feel like the wing mechanic also almost holds him back. Like, if it didn't exist and his kit was a middle ground between the two, he'd be more fun. Also, I keeping track of the wing is fucking annoying. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's like it's like you're not. It's not very like. I wish there was a bit more clarity of when it's showing up. Like I don't mind not being able to charge it or anything, like to get it, but like at least getting yeah, to know should... when it's gonna come. Right. And it's easy to tell when it shows up, but sometimes yeah. when you're playing Sephiroth on a dark stage and he's you're wearing the black coat, uh, when the wing disappears, there's no like yeah. real indicator. Yeah. So sometimes you jump out there thinking you have it, and then you you die. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't put something over his like. Indicator at the bottom. Yeah. So you can yeah. Actually, yeah. Like every character icon. Yeah. 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 Well, because the ones that have it are characters that can charge it, but in his case, it doesn't charge. But like, well, it would be nice either not way. Not it's I mean, not always a, a charge. Characters with extra like Banjo icon, Kazooie like. have theirs. Pop yeah, you're right. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. You even like with the villager, you see what they pocket. There's a lot of weird little indicators. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, there's not something that shows something charging. Like there's there's not like like every character has a meter. It's it's for characters that can charge up that meter. Like Arsene can right. charge it with like the the right, down right. beat, okay, and like and obviously there's, there's Robin who doesn't charge anything. We're doing with the their ability of books, and that shows up. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, yeah. But yeah, so either way, it's still cool. It's still a cool mechanic. It just it could be a little better. I think yeah. the thing that makes it especially awkward is that. It doesn't have a fixed time and when it like disappears. Yeah, so, sure, like, yeah. yeah. Sure. You think, okay, I got the stock, it's gonna disappear now. But that's not what happens. It's like yeah. you get the stock and then you it build up very the random, and then it disappears. Yeah, it's dependent on like Sephiroth's percent versus the opponent's percent versus stock differences. Stocks. It's very yeah, stock very range. strange. Bro, I'm doing fucking damage rangers like I'm playing VGC, like just to find <laughs> out what goddamn percent like. Like, and that's not the way they told us it was gonna work, by the way. Like, yeah. like this is not the way at all. They said, yeah, when you kill somebody, your meter goes away. And everybody oh, in here was like, yeah, it was capping. Uh, wherever it was here was like, oh yeah, you know, that makes sense. That's pretty balanced. That's big cap. <laughs> Sakurai fucking lied to all of you. <laughs> Can't believe you lied to little Timmy. Crazy. Chats yeah. for the music though, so. Oh, it is, it is so also nice. funny going back to what Biram was saying too with like, um, I, I know we've already sort of gone past it, but it's just like, I feel the exact same way. So I wanted to call it out. Is you mentioning that he just feels smoother than the Belmonts. That when, yeah. when I play as the Belmont characters and I love like the original Castlevania games, I do have a lot of nostalgia for the old series, but I can't really ever play as those characters. Like I understand that they're interesting and I understand they're not like terrible characters, but they're terrible for me. Yeah, I, like based on how I play, they're horrible. Like, I will never, even if I'm playing casually, I don't even know. I'm not even to beat people. With I mean, with he that. feels smoother because he can move around better, but that's it. Like when I press B with Sephiroth, I I, I don't necessarily enjoy waiting 30 minutes for whatever move yeah. I chose to come out. 
I mean, I, I guess that's, that's really important in and of itself. A big thing for me, though, is Sephiroth has interesting sort of like mind game mechanics. Like, I love utilizing his side B and stacking yeah. up on people and then just sort of waiting for the perfect opportunity, knowing they're going to shield or knowing they're going to be off the stage and then boom, 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 they all get hit and they go flying off. Um, and oh, that's that, such that side B is serious pressure, bro. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah, awesome. yeah, that scares you. If you, put so, if you put a side B on somebody, they're going to be shook the whole time. You can of course. Yeah. And especially if you hit them, like, if as soon as you hit them once with side B down smash, they, like, never shield again when side B's up. Right, right. <laughs> especially if you and get... That, that move, it, it also, it, like, snuffs out a lot of projectiles. And yeah. Yeah. if people, whenever people try to run forward, I just dash back side B, dash back side B over and over. Yeah, it's really Good interesting because it's got like it's got this like weird double hitbox where at like that close mid range when they do a projectile, it almost always wins out right. unless the projectile's yeah. really strong. If it didn't do that, it'd be a really bad move though. It would. If it, it lost would. to literally, <laughs> like, if it if it clashed or just lost, like that that move is like it's hard enough to hit as it is. If you ask, I'm me. assuming I'm assuming this is probably something I know the answer to. I'm gonna ask it just for the sake of sounding stupid. Is do people consider Disable with Mewtwo good if they play with Mewtwo? Disable yeah. is much, much, much better than yeah. it was uh, yeah. in Smash yeah. 4. Okay. It's very okay. annoying yeah. in this game. But uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty, it goes pretty far now. It's, uh... it's, 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 it's viable now. It's, it's not oh, like you have to be game. on the ground in front of him, though. Look facing yeah. him, too. Because that's the closest thing to me that I thought of when I first started using Side B, is I was thinking of like landing a Disable, where I would only use it in really safe situations. And then I started to find out that, like, oh, no, it cancels out a lot of projectiles. You could charge it. You could do a lot of damage. You could put pressure on people. And then I started to rely on it more. Um, and now it's just like sort of fun to mix into, you know, however I'm playing or, or who I'm playing for that matter. Like if I'm playing somebody who, you know, I kind of want to style on for a little bit, you <laughs> just do really cool things at the side B and, uh, and it's been a lot of fun, but yeah, I, I love Sephiroth and he's a great new character. He is absolutely hands down my favorite DLC character they've added in this game. No Same. question. Same. Yeah. I think for me personally, um, as someone, you know, I, I think a lot of us weren't exactly like fully expecting someone like Sephiroth to be added, you know, especially with how Final except Fantasy VII as a whole has been. Well, except me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Except except you. You. <laughs> like for me, I, I, I wasn't exactly expecting Sephiroth to come into the game and I wasn't expecting to like him as much as I did. Yeah. So that overall to me is a really, really pleasant surprise. And it proves to me that I can still be surprised about this game and still feel that way, which awesome, is like, man. which is a pretty wonderful feeling. Yeah. I'm, I am curious, once uh, tournaments open back up again, is his stage legal? Yeah, I was gonna so ask about it that. It should be, but the dangerous thing is normally we get told that when Cloud's victory theme happens, you have to turn off this, you can't show it on stream. Yeah. Oh. So um, it probably depends on the tournament. If it's not sponsored by Nintendo and they don't care, then yeah, they'll probably use it. But Cloud's victory theme is just ripped straight from Final Fantasy. So couldn't they yeah, go like but, music and put on like the Era so, remix and Cosmo so, Canyon and stuff? No, but what they but okay, but what they normally do. So remixes, maybe they get away with those. Yeah, so, like right, Advent right. Children stuff, especially probably not because those okay. probably will get flagged. Sure. Uh, Severos theme is from Advent Children, so it'll probably be the same thing with right. him. So, right. So Cloud and Sephiroth probably get the same thing, where when the victory train happens, they just turn away from it. But on the stage, yeah, you can probably just pick the new remixes, and that's probably fine. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> well, I feel wild. like that's that's more on Square Enix, because, well, it's just Square Enix doesn't want to pay a lot, and it's hard to license music from them, because Square Enix a lot of times lets the creator of the song hold the rights to it. So getting music from them is a pain in the ass, since they don't hold the rights to Look, it. You man, can go talk to the is... creator. Is 2020? I should be able to pick whatever music on whatever stage I want, mm -hmm. and not yeah. get striked. And so that's 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 it's 2020. That's all I'm I agree. Saying. I'm <laughs> backing saying away from the mic. Not that, not that I've ever <laughs> used anything other than the Aerith theme remix. So the Aerith theme remix is so good. Now y'all get. I like Cosmo Canyon. You, if you guys play on my Switch, you're listening to His World on every stage, the instrumental, <laughs> and you're gonna fucking sing that shit. His World. Yeah. His yeah. World. <laughs> Give but, uh, should, I, should I waste my time playing Final Fa original Final Fantasy VII? I've never of course! Played it. No, 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 wasting no. your time? No, 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 no. It's no, good. No. Well, the original is completely different. different from the remake. Yeah, well, definitely. I'm not going to yeah, play the remake because I don't, I don't want to experience the fake story. Uh, 
It, well, I, <laughs> so much oh, to say. There, there, there is so much say, to say to that. You've oh. never played the original <laughs> Final Fantasy VII. Literally, yeah. like twelve dollars on Switch. Just download it, play it in bed before you go to sleep. You will like it. Because I'm actually playing through some more of it right now. I've been switching back and forth between Final Fantasy VII, the original, and then I've been switching between that and Dragon Quest XI because I've just like slept in that game for a long time and I'm finally right. playing it. Um, that game's so good. That and Final Fantasy game. VII actually still holds up pretty well. Yeah. Enjoyable. I mean, obviously the graphics are blocky, but it's like still fun. Well, obviously I'm going to play it with the speed up and shit. Yeah, exactly. And you could speed up everything. And so they made the experience a lot nicer. So I would highly recommend it. Speaking of uh, games we could highly recommend. Yeah. Let's go talk about this game of the year shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's like, do it right now. Let's talk about game of the year. Oh, before, 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 before we do Goaty, before we do Goaty shit, it is kind of cool though that it took Sephiroth to get in for FF7 to finally have Justice and Smash. Like now we finally have remake right. songs. Now we finally have like like spirit battles and shit. Like it's like it took a second character for us to finally feel like like Cloud's DLC saga is fucking complete. They also, finally gave Cloud a I knew that though. In, uh, in 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 clouds in the Sephiroth trailer, it was a missed opportunity. They didn't do the villain thing at the start. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like that could have. I think they're gonna save that for another villain later on. I don't think it would have ruined the surprise either. Yeah, yeah that's right. Because everyone would have just yeah, we just thought about Nintendo. Everyone would have been like, "What the fuck is about to have Porky?" But then it's Sephiroth. <laughs> Porky. Didn't somebody um? Didn't somebody make like the fake villain thing with Cloud and Sephiroth on Twitter? I. Yeah, yeah, I saw. I'm sure, that. I saw it. I'm pretty sure I liked it. I could pull it up if we uh. It doesn't matter. Whatever, I'll find it later. <laughs> doesn't matter. I'm looking for it. And it's very way too far back on my uh, on my media, so I'm not going to look for it right now. But yeah, let's talk about game of the year. So who wants to start? What are your games of the year? You Animal Crossing should have won game of the year. It should have. I agree. Straight up. I agree. I agree. I agree. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing straight up had an impact on the world. Talk bro. to them, Zeph. Talk to them, bro. No, 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 no. But the, but does the, you see? You think what? What are we talking about? Like, I'm not saying. I'm not even saying. I'm not even saying. I'm not even saying. Animal Game Crossing Awards. was the best game. I'm not even. Okay, saying. that's what I'm asking. You're saying that game of the year. I'm exactly. not saying Animal yeah, Crossing exactly. was the best game of of this year. Right, I'm saying Animal question. Crossing was just so it's important in general. Of course, it defined the year, bro. You will never yes. forget. Animal Crossing came out in 2020. Like you'll never. Animal forget. Crossing was different, bro. Easy. Different. I'm probably the only person here that didn't play it, but I'll forget. You didn't play Animal Crossing? No. We know about him. He was only McDareth then. Only McDareth will forget that Animal <laughs> Crossing didn't come out in 2020. It did come out in 2020. So, so how do we? So, how do we want to do this, Roger? We're we doing. We're we doing game of the year, like five. they said, or we're we doing. We're doing. I'm the thinking the best Discord game. Order, Discord order. We each make a case for the game that we believe should be game of the year. Right. I think universally, after that discussion, because I also am in agreement. I think it might not necessarily be the best. Like standalone game of the year, but I think in terms of a game that made an impact in 2020, yeah. there's no game greater than Animal Crossing. Right. I think that's like bar none. But when it comes to our own personal favorite games, like individual games, I think that's going to be a fun discussion. So we can go in Discord order. We're going to start with Fidel. We're going to make our way down and talk about what our personal game of the year is. So we're doing like, are we doing just just game of the year, like top three or? I mean, what do you what do you guys want to do? Just do just do one, man. Just talk. Just do one. Just do one. If I was if I was to give my my number one, it would be FF7 remake. Cause to me, that was the most like hype I felt playing a game. Like the it had the set pieces, it had the crazy music, it had fucking fantastic combat. Like that combat system was so engaging and fun, and it was just like it was it was awesome to re like imagine like. Play FF7 again, and like especially playing the original, seeing the changes they make, how they nailed certain things, where they're going, and it's just like that final set piece is so fucking cool. Everything about that game to me was just like, that's a fantastic game. Like that game was, it, it was the most like, like the most smiles and jump out of my seat moments I had playing a game this year. There you go, Fidel. Final Fantasy VII remake, McDareth. Uh, support my Sonic brethren. Final Fantasy VII Remake, definitely. That's, uh, right on. That game was so good. Like, but a lot of what Fidel said, it just like it really is the same thing for me. When I think of what game I played this year, and I was just geeking out and super happy the whole time, mm -hmm. it was FF7 Remake. Like, the I love music in video games, and the way they do the music in that game, the way it plays into the fights, they actually subvert your expectation on one of the songs like way yeah. later. It's it's so good. 
Right on. That is two for FF7 Remake. Mike? Uh, for me, it's got to be Animal Crossing, for sure. Um, I love Animal Crossing, and so I was really looking forward to this one. Uh, since holidays were pretty much canceled this year in real life, Animal Crossing right. still, like, it, it got me to look forward to Halloween and stuff this year. Uh, I've been playing it every day since it's come out, and it hasn't felt like I've been doing it out of, like, an obligation or anything. It's just, like, I'm, I'm excited to play it every day. I just mm. really like playing it. I also, I like looking at your tweets for Animal Crossing, too, because you'll still regularly... Yeah, I love taking pictures, pictures in it. Pictures. It's so cute, yeah. So that's another one for uh, for Animal Crossing. I think it was, for me, three-way between Hades, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and Animal Crossing. But if I'm being truly honest with myself and I had to choose one, one. I think I'm sticking with Fidel and I'm sticking with McDareth and I'm going Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah. And to piggyback off of what McDareth was saying too, I think there is no game, and this is potentially Cap, but, but this is there's no <laughs> game I can think of, I'm just I'm setting it up right now, um, where I had as visceral of a reaction to the soundtrack yeah, and they had to Final oh, Fantasy VII Remake. When the Airbuster theme kicks in. Dude, that theme is so Oh my cool. god, unreal, yeah, man. So that theme cool. was unlike any song I've ever heard in a JRPG. That I've ever played. That was so, and, and then it just builds up from there. I still find myself as I walk around my apartment going, dun 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 Rufus theme, like, oh my god, hearing the music swell on the roof. It, it is hey, man. wild. Man. And then when you're in like the collapsed like tunnels and there's oh. like that techno mm. theme, like oh. it's, it's so good. High five, high five. Yeah, high, high, high five. I haven't played that game, but high five is my favorite song in the game. And, and you know, to be fair, do I think it's the the best game in terms of like, oh, everything is cool? He said, no, I don't. I think like going back to the tunnel, I think some of the backtrack in Final Fantasy VII Remake is not great, especially yeah. upon replaying it. But the experience that I have overall, like the highs outweigh the lows to me. And even though I feel like Hades is really consistently good all the way through, I feel like it never peaks in the same way for me that FF7 Remake did. And so I got to go with Remake as well. That's Show me. You already know my pick, man. Animal Crossing, man. Listen. Why, why else for Animal Crossing? Let's hear it. Because very shortly after the pandemic in the United States was was getting worse to the point where we had to quarantine. All right. We're all lost. We're all scared. What's there for us? Animal Crossing. The social <laughs> aspect of Animal Crossing was incredible. I've never, I never, mm -hmm. bro. What the fuck is this weird ass looking game? I've never seen this shit before. I'm, I'm gonna get it though. So I you got see? it. You know what I'm saying? Turned it on, started collecting shit, started making cash money. You know what I'm saying? Started going to other people's islands, <laughs> laughing at their, their weak, cash. laughing at their weak ass islands, stealing me some peaches <laughs> on the way out. You know what I'm oh saying? Getting that money like Tom Nook. <laughs> yes, away from me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the it, it was just, it was just, uh, it was really cool to see people get married on Animal Crossing. People have parties and shit, and tea parties and and costume parties. It's cool, man. Fucking. And I, I just, I, I just think, I just think at, at the time it came out, we needed a game like that to come out. Yeah, yeah. people literally survived this year playing that game. <laughs> I am curious though, because like I'm still playing it, Mike is still playing it, I know other people are still playing it. Do you still play Animal Crossing almost every day? Me? Nope. Hell no. no. Because so when, when I, I was, when I was nearing three. when I was nearing the end game, making my you know you know uh, landscaping my island. They over here telling me I can only have eight inclines. I was out of there. Fuck that. Why are you limiting me? Why are you limiting me on making my island the best island it could be? Why does it take me 45 minutes to put five tiles on the fucking ground? Fuck that. I didn't have the, have the patience anymore. It takes two hours to bring eight people over. Why does it take me a fucking week to... Why Why can't I click and drag? Why, why does everything have to be one at a time in the entire game? Why does every single thing have to be one at a time? Make this more convenient or I'm leaving and they didn't saw a limit. But I still like the game. Fair enough. But I ain't playing that shit. Uh, so Shofu voted Animal Crossing. Tito, I already know what you're going to say is Game of the Year. But then again, I don't know. Your name on Discord right now is uh, giving me pause. So what's you your game? I'm saying of Game of the Year. Solitaire has been there since day one, bro. And I'm, <laughs> no, but for real, 
Um, I this for it was really weird because 2020 for me, I this is the first year I felt like I played all the great game that you came out what? this year. I I feel like I played every great game that what came out this year. Said? It's so weird, huh? What game did you say? No, 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 no. I haven't said it yet. Oh my bad. But, I, I but, I yeah, no, yeah. You good? I said it was solitaire because I'm memeing. Oh, but oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I but, like I played I played Ghost of Tsushima. That game is is the best looking game I played this. Year. I played FF7 Remake. I played Doom Eternal. I played The Trash of Us. Like, I'm not saying that's a great game, but I'm just saying. <laughs> like, I played the all these games, us. right? Right, I played The Trash of Us. Hades is by far the best game I played. This and I'm talking about, and, and, and it's it's not even, for me, it's not even close. See, that's, a, that's another thing too, Tito. A lot of people have not played that entire list of candidates there. That's what I'm saying, yeah. So true, it's, yeah, yeah. So, so, so I played all of these really... Incred I'm not saying these games are even like bad. They're obviously not bad, but for yeah. me, I played all of these games, and I spent a lot of time. I, you know, I played Miles Morales. I played everything, damn near. <laughs> yeah. And Hades cost me the least amount of money, and it was the best game. It was crazy. the The voice acting in that game is incredible. I Unreal. unfortunately or fortunately don't have the nostalgia glasses for FF7, so it didn't hit for me as much as it hit as sure. I which was I would like for it did, but like. Hades, it's 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 so gorgeous. Literally, there's not a bad part of that game. There's not. I cannot find one bad thing about that game where I can find a bad thing about every other game I just named. Like, it's just it's just for me personally, it's not even close. Hades is the best game, not only for this year, it might be the best game I played since God of War. Like wow. it might be one and two. Like it's like it's I literally and a couple of you have played, and I, I actually finished my tenth run. So the tenth run for those of you in the chat who don't know. The 10th run is like when you complete the game quote unquote 10 times that's when the main line quote unquote story ends so it's like the that's like you beat the game kind of you get the credits right right i I, spoil it. I like that you said it's your favorite game since god of war because the what that tells me is you just like playing as a god basically you just like if you're playing mm -hmm. as a god in the game <laughs> no okay. I, 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 I god of war and then hades i'm a, I'm a history <laughs> teacher you know what i'm saying like i teach Greek mythology no but like the the and I'm not gonna spoil the tenth run, but sure. when, when some of you guys finish it, I want you guys to I want you guys to tell me so I can talk about it with somebody. It is the most like broke my ankles type ending I've ever played in my life. Wow! Like more, it's it's more than God of War, and not in terms of story, but the fact of what what the, what what it means and what it implies. So wow. anyway, I said all that to say Hades is. Is my favorite game this year, but game of the year is definitely Animal Crossing. Like it's, it's but it's it's my game though. of the year is Hades. You said that about the uh, about the ending. It's like I'm on the sixth run right now, and so I still have a ways to go. I haven't even yeah. had the, the chance to go back and do it, but that makes me want to go back and do it. Yeah, you you um, need to uh, you need to do it. I, I will for sure. Vim. Um, so I was thinking about this and. At first, I was thinking, okay, I'm on the Final Fantasy VII Remake train like everybody else because that game was oh, fucking amazing, and I um, I also love it. But I don't really have anything else to add about that game that hasn't already been said. Um, you guys know how good that game is. But oh, yeah. I think, personally, as somebody who was kind of feeling turned off about Smash, as somebody who just wanted a, a, another sort of fighting game to kind of sink my teeth into... Um, I really, really like Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Ooh, um, all right. Interesting pick. I've, I've been putting a lot of time into that game, and it has its share of problems, mainly from, like, a consumer standpoint. But just playing the game is so, so fun. I, I love uh, how it looks. I love the mechanics. I love uh, the characters I'm playing. It's just, like... It, it, it feel it filled a gap for me personally that I, I think that I needed to be filled, right? Um, so for me personally, that is my personal favorite game that I've put the time into this year. But um, yeah, Final Fantasy VII Remake is also like a big, uh, big important game for me. Curiously, what what did you mean by saying like from a consumer standpoint, it wasn't your favorite game of the year? Like, did they do some weird thing with DLC? Yes. Oh, oh it's, it's, it's a ludicrously uh, expensive game. It's horribly it yes. Oh, there's, there's two season passes. They're both like thirty bucks. Uh, and now there is a uh, premium battle pass. So yeah. 
But they're also very expensive because they know they can charge that much because they give you stuff on the mobile game, which I have on the other monitor right now, and they will uh, you get stuff in that so people will pay for it. Because they know uh, Grand Theft Auto will pay no matter what. It's 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 one of those games where it's like I can't in good faith recommend it immediately to people. It's sure. the kind of game where it's like if you know that you're gonna sink your teeth into, then I'd recommend it. But it's a fighting game; you can't guarantee that. Sure, uh, there isn't enough core cool content for me to be like, oh yeah, pick up this game. And until it goes on sale for a more reasonable price, like once it does, I'll be, you know, I'd be on recommending it like immediately. But Absolutely. At the moment, it's like. Eh. Right on. All right, I'm gonna take your vote for Grand Blue then, just because that's uh yeah interesting. All right, right on, Zeph, game of the year. You're last up. We have uh, how many for FF7 Remake right now? One for Grand Blue, one for Hades, and two for Animal Crossing. Uh, mine's Hades. I uh, mm -hmm. I haven't played a lot of the new games this year, like Ghost of Tsushima or FF7R or anything, so I'm not going to talk about them. Sure. Uh, but Hades, I've played a lot of games in general, like more than your average person, I think. And sure. I think Hades might be the most polished game I've ever played in almost every single aspect of the game. The only part of the game I feel like is a little weak, and even then not very, is the music. Everything else, I don't know. I, I've, I, it's, I can't think of anything in that game that I disliked. There yeah. were annoyances, yeah. but that was just because I was trash. Uh, not nothing in that game. I don't know. I, that game, I'm I'm hesitant to say it's perfect, but it's Same. I think one of the closest games to perfect, and it's on sale right now. So uh, how hey. much? Uh, how much is it? Curiously, on sale. I think it's like twenty bucks. Nothing. Uh, is it yeah, 30 bucks normally? It's I think it's like 8 to 15 and 70. I can tell you uh, right I'm talking now. Canadian prices. You gotta ask an American. Yeah, no friends. Uh, it's okay. $20 right now on Steam. <laughs> Scoop? <laughs> Yo, Scoop? <laughs> he said Zeph showed your face for nine bro? years, bro. <laughs> bro, I've known Zeph since 2010, bro. <laughs> 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 or nine, something like that. I I've seen Zeph one time. Once. Ever in my life. What's good doing down there, bro? <laughs> One time I've seen Zeph. <laughs> Briefly. The game is, game is, is a retail twenty four ninety nine. It's on sale for $20. i am thinking about it. All right. Hey. I don't think I've ever seen your face, Zeph. I don't think if, I have. If this vaccine works, then I'll do it. Okay? <laughs> tell the sign. <laughs> there you go. All right. all right. All right. All right. Here we you go. Gotta, you got to come it's to the live event. That's pretty impressive, man. Not just going to live. That's going to be it. We'll do no. We do the face reveal then. Least. We got to take Zeph on stage in a paper bag that he takes it off. I That's know Star, Star, Star doesn't no, come to see no, 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 so no, many we got to do, we got to walk around with Zeph and not tell anybody that he's Zeph. Just walk around with Zeph. People who I, are I know that if we ever do a Japan Time Live, though, I am already putting in place the idea that Ricky's going to be there. Because I think Ricky, the only way we get Ricky back is we have to do a live show. That's cap. If we what do a live happened? show, he'll be there. If he can't why show up happening? online, why would he show up in person? I just, I know him. That doesn't make He's any sense. Trend. I know him. I think that's, I think he would do that. I Maybe don't Rick, fuck with that guy anymore. That's what Ricky's been. Ricky's been making the vaccine. That's where he's been. Yeah. Oh. So. Yeah, you're changing the world. Okay, so yeah. where was he before that? Making it, I don't know. I don't know. Where was he in 20, where was, the virus? Bro, where was he in 2017 when this ultimately got announced? Right. No, he was on the show. No, I'm well, saying that's the last time we saw him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time, I think the last time we even talked to him was when, what was it, the Belmonts? That's the last time we've ever talked to him? I on a show? I think it was the Belmonts. You playing Nintendo? You speaking French? I'm talking about we. <laughs> we? Uh all right, well I think we exhausted our, our votes yep. for game of the year then. Yep. Any other uh, small little game you want to bring up? Uh, I, I will say I really loved Paper Mario. Paper Mario was my runner up. I I, I ended up really cap. fucking loving the music. Oh, I'm serious. Why bro? Don't give up cap? I'm I'm a Mario <laughs> fucking nerd, man. Bro, I'm here. I'm not here with the toad. I'll, say, I, I, I'll no. back you up a little bit, Fidel. I'll say that I enjoyed it more than I thought I was going to enjoy it. Yes, sir. I, ending is very strong. I think like yeah. from chapter four onwards, what well, and parts of obviously the story Bobby. two and three exactly are good, but. For the most part, the first three chapters of that game are miserable. Right, shout out to Bobby, bro. Shout actually, out to Bobby. actually, Roger, can I, change my, can I change my vote real quick? 
Just go ahead. Yeah, my, my new game of the year is Cyberpunk 2077. You know oh, what I'm God saying? <laughs> the biggest finesse of all time. Okay? <laughs> that game took all of your money. They made more Dang. money well, than actually, game on pre-orders. You know while while you're on Cyberpunk. I'm talking about Cyber Dick? I'm going to go, yes. do some, I'm gonna go <laughs> grab some water real quick. Cyber Dick Simulator? Right, let's do a Cyber Dick Simulator. Oh, <laughs> Cyberpunk. You was, <laughs> you was over there. Dick, you was over there. Dick yeah, yeah, we didn't even bro. talk about that digital. He was over there nice. customizing. That was over there, bro. Oh boy, dick detailing over there, bro. <laughs> can, we, can we talk about how that game said it was gonna have the best character creator ever, but every <laughs> single option is a preset? Yeah. Game's ass. No, you can't, I, I wanted to make my character so goddamn ass. fat. It can all you can only be muscular? Why would you not? Why, why would you not be able to make your character fat? I don't know. Because you don't see him. You don't. But, you uh, don't see him. That I, fo yeah, I found. I found that weird. I found that weird that yeah. they they have that level of customization in a first person game. That game. Uh, that game has a lot of shit, but it's actually pretty fun. I I kind of like it. I'm playing it's it on PC fun. now. I'm having a much better time. Unironically, like sometimes the characters like textures don't load and they look like fucking half-life <laughs> flesh monsters <laughs> fucking great some of the bugs are funny as shit it looks like a game well it's like it looks like the type of game that i really like so i'm kind of just waiting till they patch bugs then i'll probably pick it up sometime the bugs are funny though i had a friend who had a who has a fucking bug to this day where every time he like like you know when you like call in your car so, like it gets tossed to him like fucking like the Hulk is tossing him the guy is fucking funny. That's fire. Well, I want I that. saw some I saw a picture on Twitter or no it was a picture it was like a gif of some guy who I guess like shoves a dude in a fridge or something yeah. and then he opened the fridge door and the guy fell down and he just exploded. <laughs> yeah. And and you have to reload the entire game because you need his body for the quest. What in the world? <laughs> Bro, that was over there. That was over there penis personalizing. <laughs> so what are, are you guys all playing on pc or on um I am hey now. glad that you I'm asked rogers PC. you see i was one of the responsible ones that pre-ordered a playstation 5 and didn't try to get it on the oh, last geez. day wait know? when did you pre-order your okay, playstation okay. 5 shofu uh when they dropped the pre-orders on uh what was it september 16th or something like that i don't know oh bro that's crazy i also pre-ordered mine on september 16th wow wait did you get yours the day it came out because you pre-ordered it Bro, I can't. It came in a box. I unboxed it, and it was in wow. The box, it's crazy that pre-ordering a console in advance means you can get it the day it comes out. Wow, yes, bro, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, wild, I, uh, I pre-ordered my so Series pre X. Yeah. Uh, anyways, Series so X, that being yeah. said, right? <laughs> because I had this wow. PlayStation Five, you know what I'm saying? Because I had this PlayStation so Five, I wanted to play my PlayStation Five, so it's not just sitting here and I'm not just staring <laughs> at it, right? So I right. decided to get Cyberpunk on the PlayStation 5 when I had this perfectly good play, uh, PC here, obviously. I could have got it on PC, but I decided to get it on my PlayStation 5 because I wanted to play my PlayStation 5. <laughs> As it should. So I'm over here playing Cyberpunk, having a jolly good old time. Wait, you're playing it on your what? On my PlayStation 5 that I pre-ordered okay. in September right. that I got okay, okay. when it came out the day uh -huh. it came out. Right, right, right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't hear that. My bad. So I'm over here having a jolly good old time playing Cyberpunk on my PlayStation 5. <laughs> You pre -ordered. And it crashes. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is this? I know I didn't spend sixty dollars on this game for it to crash on my brand new PlayStation Five. Restart my game, playing, <laughs> having a good old time. Crashes again. I started over. Yeah. It crashes in the same spot that I left off in. Oh, I started over again. Crashes in the same spot that I left off. In. So I had to re I had to load an, an earlier save point <laughs> Christ. to play it again crashes again in a different it just it crashed so many times i just i just gave up i just I'm no, i was done playing it you're done you're done with it now my, my friend I'll, had the problem when, where the game would uh, fix it my, my friend had the problem where the game would auto save uh when he died or was about to die <laughs> oh my god hello <laughs> so he, hey hey Hey, hey, what hey, up? Let him know. It was just Obi. It was Obi. He ate Cyberpunk too. It was. <laughs> he said he ate Cyberpunk. <laughs> okay. Yeah. True. That makes sense. <laughs> Sorry about that. He he literally leapt up into my lap, and uh, I don't know. Maybe he just he heard you talking about how you were playing it on your PlayStation Five, which you got on the first day because you pre-ordered it. And uh, yeah, I also. You know what? I'm gonna be playing on my PS Five later this week, Shofu. Don't do it. I'm not giving them. I'm, them, some, uh, <laughs> I'm not time. giving them any more shine than they did me a great time. Yeah. Did me a great time. Yeah, the dark They're not side getting of any it. out of me <laughs> until, until the agreed on date. Um, 
All right, well, I mean, we, we talked about Game of the Year, we talked about Cyberpunk a little bit. Let's actually sort of move away from that topic into real-life topics. Let's talk a little yeah. bit about Super Nintendo World. So there was a surprise Super Nintendo World Direct that happened, uh, that was a week and a half ago, where Miyamoto hosted and showed off a little bit of what to expect when it comes to Super Nintendo World opening in Japan in just a few months, opening here in the United States in Hollywood. It uh, hasn't been announced, I think, but I, based on every rumor, it's going to be the end of next year. And uh, it looks amazing. What do you want to start with? I mean, it looks really, it looks really good. Real. There were moments in that direct where I was almost 100% sure he was on a green screen. Because it didn't I, look I real. I said the same thing. I thought it was all yeah, CG. Yeah. First and foremost, the food looks good. Like, that's I. That's one of the big things whenever it comes to yeah, It looks good because so they charge you $30 for a burger. Yeah. Buy a burger about to cost you 30 Fucking ticket. Oh, no, Bro, the, the bob on paid that with Junior is so cool. You saying that you're yeah, not paying $30 for your Mario burger? It's the experience, bro. Yeah, bro. It is the experience. You got the Mario tap on the bro. burger, you bro. Write. You take your yeah. Instagram photo, you write it off for tax season. It's good. Pass hey, uh, as long as hey, I get a nice plastic cup to keep, I don't mind. While we're talking about this, show, can you can you play it in Discord? Because I actually have not seen this. Oh yeah, pop it on, pop it on. Here, I'll, I'll get the link for you. Hold on. No, he, he I, got I, it. I dropped it. Already. Already. He dropped it. Already. 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 Battlefield over here. Y'all keep talking about this. He could just he could just play this shit for the stream and yeah, just you'll see it. Um. Yeah, but it's just like everything about it looks so well made. I love like the little area where you see the piranha plant animatronic sleeping, and you yeah. know there's gonna be some little mini game where you run past it and it wakes up. <laughs> I love uh, how interactive it is. Dude, yeah, it the, is just like a bunch of cute Prana things plant, to look at. The piranha plant sleeping with the fucking coin spinning on it did not look real. I can't believe yeah, dude. It's oh god. This shit's it's crazy. It can say like when you say when you because the park is like look, near, at, the, look at the coin right? spinning. That doesn't look real. Yeah, yeah the coin I mean, spinning's pretty unreal. Yeah, yeah it's scary, man. Just want to say it. thank I you need... to Chris for the raid. Uh continue. Hey, thanks, Chris. Oh my god. Bro, this shit looks fucking dope. This shit looks crazy. Same. It does look you know, really, really good. We pull another okay. now, now, now I will life. say, right? A nigga like me might punch that power block off the wall. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing about this is obviously you need the magic band to activate the event on your phone. Yeah. But I do wonder if like there's going to be one kid running up there with the magic band and then you really only need it to activate it and then all the other kids run up okay. once you actually get now the Now listen, off the top I'm telling you some kid's going to walk in there with his Nintendo Switch playing um. Mario... And he's yes, gonna sir. run under a, a a block and try to hit it with his head and snap his fucking and fucking die. Bro. <laughs> 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 one, one of these blocks are gonna fucking fall. Okay, but can, can we talk about can we talk about how two, two things? A, everybody who works at this park is gonna have to dress like a toad, and it's gonna be the worst uniform of bro. all time. You've seen it, right? The worst uniform. Have you seen the toad uniform? The toad uniform. The toad uniform. The toads are so wide they don't have necks. Wait, 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 wait. Are y'all serious? No, yeah, they're they're in the video. Video. it's in the uh, it's not in the video, but you can see it in the uh, no, no, no. I'm talking about the people. No, I'm not talking about like people walking around dressed up as toads. I'm talking about the guy who's working selling Slurpees is also going to dress like a toad. Uh, yeah, bro. I'm oh, sure, of yeah, yeah. Gonna and have the he's, he's gonna have a full ass beard. They have to. There's no humans in Mario <laughs> World. Got the fatty, bro. <laughs> Jake's gonna sell me a fucking Slurpee in a in a goddamn. My God damn bro, Bowser out, appearing man. on that block look cool as shit for no reason. Oh, yeah. I need it, dude. I need and it. The whole underground area is awesome. I love even the things they do with perspective, where you, like, take a photo, and then one part you look really huge, the other part you look really small. The, oh, the glowing yeah. little bob bombs, the way they explode when you walk by them. Everything yeah, about it is... <laughs> You know how many kids are gonna try to jump into that Bob on Battlefield painting and fucking bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Another thing that I want that I don't know if they would actually do, but like I want them to lean into like like I want there to be a bar at Nintendo World and it's like Wario's bar. Like and it's just it's or like Wario's casino. Like I want yeah. just shit like that. Like I want there needs to be an adult only section with Wario theme. Yeah, that would actually be awesome. I love that. I love that. That'd be fire. Yeah. A casino. Oh a casino man. Casino run by Wario is. They could fire. have literal Waluigi pinball. That's that would actually saying. be awesome. 
That would be crazy. So I'm, I'm glad you bring that up, though, because something that people aren't talking about is the things that we already know are in the park that they didn't show. So they first off, they didn't show the dark ride, which is the Yoshi's Adventure ride at all. They didn't even touch on it during this presentation but basically you're in the it's like the family friendly ride basically okay where you're in the back of the yoshi and you can see it in the video um at the very beginning of this direct presentation the yoshis you load into them underground and then you like go outside you're riding on the back of the yoshi oh, and then man. you can see the other people walking into the park as like thwops are landing on you and the koopas that are walking around like that whole experience with the pow blocks and everything that's all part of the yoshi ride Okay. Well, you're watching people doing it as you're riding the back of Yoshi. Um, the Mario Kart ride is AR, so you put on these AR Ooh, goggles. That shit looks sick. What is it going to be like the actual game? So it's it's like the actual Mario Kart game, but you're in an actual physical Mario Kart. There's four people in each cart, and then you have an AR headset that's on. Oh, you just pretty much see like the Mario World while you're driving, then. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So you so not only that do you see the sick. Mario World, but then you also see carts. And you also see physical carts driving by you of like Bowser and Wario and stuff, and they're throwing at at you like banana peels and uh, Koopa shells and all that stuff in AR. That's it's amazing. AR is so cool. Man. I need it. Mm. What you eating there? You munching eating caramel Pete's popcorn or whatever the fuck you see. <laughs> He's not eating popcorn, bro. <laughs> It is popcorn. So the the popcorn thing is also interesting. I don't know if you guys have ever been to the Japanese parks, um, but in Japan, like flavored popcorn is a huge thing at theme parks. And Disney Sea had like amazing things. They had popcorn flavored like garlic shrimp. They had popcorn flavored Ew. like I know it was really good. You say gross, I'm telling you, it was delicious. Oh my god! And, I, 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 um, I guess this question might already. Again, yeah, Luigi. Yeah, Luigi pulling up. There's There's a, like, here's the thing. Oh, Where's the, I, want the, I want the fucking Luigi haunted house. Like, I want, Luigi like, man. I want the fucking. You know. So let me. I'm, so uh, actually, I'm glad you're saying that too, because again, I, I I was sort of going off topic. We were talking about other things that are in the video. There are other confirmed things. So here are okay, things okay. that like are coming out that we know of already. Um, following the release of this Mario Land, we're getting a Donkey Kong Land. What? So there's a, there's a full Donkey Kong Land with a minecart roller coaster. And basically the thing on the minecart roller coaster is that it utilizes a new patent for roller coasters where you don't actually see the track. So basically there's a pole underneath the minecarts that you're riding on. And mm -hmm. there'll be a physical track where you could see the minecarts on the track. But when you're leaping over the track, right, when you're jumping where there's no minecart area at all, it looks as if you're physically leaping in the minecart when Fucking in reality, you're riding game. underneath yeah, so with this, like, pole it. underneath it. It's it's unbelievable. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, really really Roger, Roger, just a quick question. Is this, like, analogous to, like, Islands of Adventure, Universal Studios? Yes. So what's okay. going to happen is Donkey Kong is the next thing after this Mario stuff. The Donkey Kong area is going to be built out in Japan, in Osaka, and in Hollywood. And the Donkey Kong Land, I think, is going to be done around 2023, 2024. But none of this opens in Orlando until 2025 now. Because there was some weird <laughs> thing that's going on. So Orlando, which we thought was going to get, like, everything and was going to be done by 2023, literally isn't even getting Mario until 2025. That's... Oh, my God. Crazy. So, and, and the bad thing about this is that the land in Orlando is getting a separate full second Nintendo World Park themed after Zelda, where you're getting Hyrule Castle, oh, you're getting all that oh stuff, and it's gonna God. be part of their new, so there's a new third full park. There's Islands of Adventure, Universal Studios, and then there's now a, th a third park, it's called like Worlds of Universal or something, and that park is where Zelda's going to be, and Donkey Kong and Mario are gonna be part of the Universal Studios park. So there's wait, wait, all wait. of that. Wait, so, so, so just again, just trying to, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Universal, you have Universal Studios and you have Islands of Adventure. Yeah. Okay. In Universal Studios, they'll have Mario and DK. Right. Okay. And then you'll have Islands of Adventure still being its own, like, right. Where you have a Spider Man ride thing. Right, right, right. And then, sep with still on the same property, basically, but outside yes. of that. But a full third park. Yes. You'll have a third park. Okay. And that's going to be, that's going to be the Zelda Nintendo World. It's going to be another Harry Potter area. And I forgot what the other thing is, but they've announced like another third thing for that. Um, okay. But it's like so far off that it didn't even matter at this point. Right. Um, and actually, some people are, are saying that I guess the Donkey Kong thing 
is Hollywood and Orlando. I guess Japan doesn't get Donkey Kong, which is really weird. Um, so I guess that's just Hollywood and Orlando. But then, on top of all of that, um, there is a very, very credible rumor that Kid Zone, which is the area right now in Universal Studios, which yep. is like Woody Woodpecker and all that stuff, yeah. is gone. They're no! killing it. Yes, no, 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 wait, 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 Yes. So Pokemon hey, hey, is going to have hey, a dark Darius ride. George, fuck Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> fuck, fuck Pikachu, fuck Tom Brady. For the Pokemon, fuck uh, okay, for fuck the Pokemon world, world, I, so need, I need like constant AR glasses that just makes me see the Pokemon so, world. Okay, so oh, try it out. So it's not based on what everybody's talking about. It is not a Pokemon world. It's a Pokemon ride that takes oh. place in the giant... It's like a giant closed off area that right now I think is like stage shows for dogs and then like uh, it's like the animal what? showcase thing or whatever. Oh, and I then know it's exactly the Woody Woodpecker thing. Right. Exactly that what whole what thing is, is yeah. going to be an indoor dark ride Pokemon Snap theme. Bro. The whole thing. Ooh. You're in like zero and it's a Pokemon Snap theme ride. Well, actually, oh, there is. There is huge. They haven't they haven't announced it officially anywhere, but like the patents are out there, and all the other websites that report on all this Nintendo stuff really early um, have already been talking about it. So that's pretty much a done deal. They're just waiting for approval from Pokemon Company, but um, that is what's to expect going into like all the way into 2025, 2026. Oh. Is Mario, then Donkey Kong, then Zelda, then Pokemon. Nintendo about to secure that. Hey, bag, but uh, bag. hey, I just yeah. hold on. I just as an aside. Hey, but uh, you know what I'm saying? Hashtag uh, free melee, right? Oh yeah, free actually, melee, I, don't, right? don't forget free melee. Yeah, <laughs> chat, sorry, chat. Bobby. Hold on, hold on, That's chat. Fun, free agree. melee, right? Hold on, free but no, 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 free melee, right, chat? All I gotta say is, as soon as Sephiroth was announced, I Walk it up. No man. one did talk about free Walk melee. Up. That's all I'm saying. Free melee? No. Where you at? No, I, I, I do think like. The way they're laying everything out, it's going to be awesome. Like, I think when Nintendo World officially opens and it's safe to go, it's going to be awesome. Like, and especially, I know, like, we're not probably going to be traveling anytime soon. I don't think a lot of countries are going to let us in for a while. But, like, if this opens in Hollywood, literally 10 minutes from my house, yes, sir. at the I end of next say, year, hey, Roger, we hey, pull hey, it up. Hey, we're going to pull it up. Four and I are doing IRL streams yes, live at Super Nintendo World. Go. It's happening. Go. Go. It's done. Take who got a couch? Okay. I think I think for right. sure at Super Nintendo World there needs to be a Japan time thing there. Oh, for sure. We'll go. Oh, for sure. Say. Not the and Japan time vlog. So here's the other thing that maybe goes more in line with what Tito was saying, where he wanted sort of like an adult area for Nintendo stuff. So the other major rumor right now is that there's going to be a second Nintendo store opening in North America. So you know how we have the Nintendo store that's in New York right now? Right. Yeah. So the rumor is that the second store is going to be in what is currently um, oh, I wish I knew the name of it. It's it's like a Hollywood store. Uh, it's in the Hollywood Park. We have like the the Universal City Walk or whatever. And there's a like Hollywood Planet, Planet store. Hollywood. It's not Planet Hollywood. It's like um like a memorabilia type of store. Okay. But that store is now closed and under construction, and it doesn't say what the store is going to be. But more likely than not, that's going to be the second North American Nintendo store. Man, more likely. me and Zev get nothing, bro. Me and Zev get nothing in Canada. No, we got the, the Pokemon Center just opening. Yeah, Canada. they finally did it. Oh, you guys have a Pokemon get, Center? Yeah. No, like online, online. Online, online. online. Oh, oh, yeah. So do yeah, we. Yeah. But we yeah, finally yeah, got so. that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it, took, it took us like 20 years to finally get yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, so Hollywood. Like I said, the, the weird thing about this is you would think because COVID has been so strict here in California, like Gavin's been doing a whole bunch of stuff, you would think that construction would have stopped at Universal here, but actually it didn't. It stopped in Orlando where everybody's open and willy-nilly, they're all going to Disney World and everyone's getting COVID. Meanwhile, here in Hollywood, they've just been working safely and it looks like it's still going to open into the year. So they've been just cool. So yeah, it's going to be great. What? <laughs> I'm pulling up. Can't wait to go. Yeah, we have to do like a live show or something. Once everything's safe to travel and we all have our vaccines at the end of next year, it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll go. God, bro. I got my well, super The fact that it's 10 minutes from uh, my house is just wild to me, though. Like, the fact uh, that I can literally just... Lucky, bro. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's going to be great. Okay, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? I can go to the see the Washington Monument, so got oh, your what? ass. That's true. <laughs> Yo, I got a new two-bedroom, though. You guys can come, uh, come chill. 
I can fucking yeah, I can break my leg right now. I can break my leg right now and get healed good for, for free. Two more weeks, right? Yeah, you do. Uh, nice I'm charging five hundred dollars a night to stay at my house. So, uh, <laughs> I'm, not I'm, anybody. Anybody. I'm not charging anybody. I'm not charging anybody. You guys can stay at my place. I'm not charging you. You're okay. I'll play you for it. Play me for me. Play me in what? <laughs> well, about fifty-one games. Yeah, uh, we're, we're on the set again. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, man, that's too you can get your you, you, you can get your I'm dub cool. back. It's too long of a set, man. Hey, it's also fine. I uh, I want to point out. I don't know. Have you pulled this up on screen yet? Shofu, Toad, and Peach. So the mascot um, <laughs> costumes for Toad and Peach have been revealed. The Mario and Luigi ones look really, really good. By the way, they look like yeah. hands down the best yeah. Mario and Luigi mascot. It just looks like it's Toad. And Peach. Toad got the fatty, bro. Toad is thick. How is a human supposed to fit in there if he's not? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So Finding good chubs in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 calm down. Man. Oh, I like how fucking. I like how the on Peach's picture looks like Ness is on the fucking bottom right. It does kind of look like Ness is on the bottom. It right. does not look like Ness. <laughs> the suit kind of looked like Chubbs, low key. That does not look like Ness at all. What are you talking about? We got the about? fatty. Chubbs <laughs> is out here. Dude, the tone is gonna be great. Really I can't wait to. Oh, man. The thing is, too, Universal's like a lot less strict in terms of what the characters can do than Disney. So oh, okay. uh, I don't know if you guys have seen, I'm sure you probably have at this point, but like they always have the parades yep. at Universal with the characters. There's a very iconic <laughs> TikTok <laughs> of the Squidward dabbing during the parade. Oh my <laughs> God. So, like, you know these toads and peaches and stuff are going to be doing wild stuff. Like whatever okay, you want to okay. do for a video, they'll be down to do <laughs> so it. So my friend, I, uh, my, my friend uh, when I was in college, got a job and an internship working at Universal. And he was part of the. Uh, they have an X Men parade. So oh yeah, got, yeah, yeah. So they. So what they did. They don't do. I don't know if they do it anymore. But what they did is that they would obviously have. They would get like three or four people and be like, all right. So you guys are Wolverine, Doctor Doom, and Spider Man, and y'all would just like rotate. So he was Spider-Man one day. He was just out there hitting the Soldier Boy one day. <laughs> he was just out oh there God, hitting the bro. Soldier Boy with these, He would just walk up to grannies and just like just like hit the Soldier Boy with these grannies. That shit. Was crazy. Oh man! I got I got someone in a Mario suit to crazy. fucking do the do a wrist twist. That shit was you gotta, that's so you funny. Gotta, you, gotta, you gotta hit Wolverine. Let Wolverine hit the whoa. <laughs> so that's the other weird thing too. Is based on. What was supposed to happen this year? Avengers Land was supposed to open at Disneyland in California this year. And then obviously COVID happened, and so they haven't opened anything yet. But the rides, as far as I know, are done. Spider-Man's done. Everything's done. That park is ready to open. It's just a matter of time. Like, they've still been constructing stuff. So basically next year, we're getting Avengers World. We're getting more of the Star Wars Land. And we're getting Super Nintendo World all in SoCal. Which is pretty awesome, um, and I guess the big reason the big reason as to why there's no X Men stuff here is because there was some weird like copyright thing where way back in the day, um, Universal got rights to X Men forever in the parks in Orlando, whereas in California they didn't sign the same thing, and so Disney's only legally allowed, even though they own the characters, to do Marvel stuff in parks outside of Orlando. So it doesn't matter, like, if it's a character that's in the other parks, so, like, Spider-Man or um, whatever the other one was, like, the X-Men, like you said, those can't be in Disney parks. They can only do in Orlando, like, Guardians of the Galaxy and Ant-Man or something like that. Everything I else think, is off limits. I think, because I remember Universal used to have a Hulk ride. Well, it was Superman, and then it was Hulk, but now it's yeah, something they, else. they just made a Hulk ride, actually. Like, recently, in the past year and a half, they made a oh, Hulk made ride at Universal. Because like, yeah. there, was, there was the one, like, right in the front when you go in. It was yeah. Superman, and then they made that Hulk, and then it became something else. The new Hulk ride's incredible, too. So they, they, like, propel you out of this, whatever. I'm not going to get into, like, theme park talk. But, like, regardless, the new Hulk ride at Universal is really cool. Um, all right, well, we talked about the Super Nintendo World. We talked about... Uh, Game of the Year. We talked about Sephiroth. The last thing I kind of want to talk about a little bit, if you guys care at all, is Demon Slayer becoming the number one film of all time in Japan. That's over the course crazy. of the past weekend. Yeah, you said so Demon Slayer. Crazy. I may have lost a few chicken nuggets. Eating a burger with no honey mustard. <laughs> Subway sandwich on a balcony. I want somebody to say, but you cannot find me. So we're not talking Demon Slayer then? We're just we're done. I mean, oh shit! I was muted. My bad. 
No, you haven't been muted. I've heard your bong 17 times. My fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> Oh, oh, actually, wait, we do have uh, other news. Oh. We have other news. This is breaking, actually. Um, oh. Hell has confirmed we are getting a new Kirby game in 2021. Yes! Why is that breaking oh. news? Yes, sir, where is this? So this is, uh, this was just translated by Silicon Era. This was in the Four Gamer end of the year interview with Hell Labs. There were, uh, Tadashi Kawai mentioned that we at Hell Laboratory will continue to deliver games in 2021, filled with oh. key values, surprise, fun, and warmth. Um, Teruhiku Suzuki of Hell Labs said in 2021 they also plan to release some kind of weird game from Hell Egg. They said in the meantime, Ooh. please play part-time UFO. You'll absolutely enjoy it. And Yumi Todo, one of the producers over at Hell Labs, has said, we're going to be uh, working very hard on our goals in 2021. That is for as many people as possible to enjoy Kirby games. Not only do we have plans in 2021 for a new Kirby game, but also for new merchandise, books, and a variety of events such as the Kirby Cafe. We hope you'll continue to support Kirby and Hell Labs in 2021. Star Allies was a good game. Where's all this like Kirby Star Allies. coming from? All out of nowhere. This I was uh, this was from Silicon Era. I think the other big reason why they're finally just saying this is because they have like New Year's cards and everything in Japan. That's like a huge tradition, and I think Hal's been sending out New Year's cards saying like, "Oh, look look forward to Kirby next year." Um, they have said like before, I think they had like an earlier interview too where they said like yeah. they want like, the next Kirby game to be like one of the like their most beloved like a big one for them. It's also yeah. not a huge surprise because I feel like we don't really know anything else moving forward into 2021 beyond Breath of the Wild, Bayonetta, and Metroid Prime Four. Um, and I, like we should maybe well, just in terms of like from Nintendo, like there's not a lot more oh, coming oh, from yeah. them yet, like beyond what we already know. Um, so I think. Maybe we should save this for the next podcast, like talking about yeah, what our expectations for 2021 are. Um, but more likely than not, we'll probably get a huge news blowout in like March. I think we're going to get a lot of news from Nintendo. But we'll save we'll it for the Pokemon uh, stuff before March, so that'll be cool. Oh yeah, we'll probably see Pokemon stuff in January. Oh, speaking January. of that, uh, speaking of that, excuse me. Um, um, the date is now. Um, the date is now December 28, 2020. Um, excuse me. Where the fuck is Pokemon Unite? <laughs> Where? Where's any, where's, but where's any of those Pokemon? Hello, where's Pokemon, where's Pokemon, Pokemon Sleep never came out. Pokemon Unite never came out. Pokemon Sleep never came out. Two weeks in a row for 10 minute presentations. It? Pokemon Snap, are you over here? I can't find bro, you. Pokemon, where the fuck is Pokemon Sleep at? Bro, Pokemon Sleep. Oh, that's right. Pokemon Sleep. That's just not happening. Where's Detective Pikachu? Found the fucking Switch. Okay, nobody gives a fuck about nothing. Our next show, our next Japan time. Our next Japan time would be <laughs> January 11th. That's the that's two weeks from today is January 11th. By the next Japan time, we may have Pokemon news because is the. That, I mean, is that like a uh, a Roger news or is that just general news? No, is that's just I'm just saying a maybe. That's not. Don't, don't say Roger news. You're gonna get people reporting that stuff. That is not. Okay. I'm just saying. That's that publicity for the podcast. What's wrong? No, no, no. That's not publicity for the podcast. I mean, maybe uh, it is. Yeah, but I don't want to say a Nintendo Roger, like Roger's Roger thinks confirms the Pokemon Direct. I think Roger's talking about the New Year's thing that uh, Pokemon's doing. Well, no, I'm, I'm talking about I'm talking about the fact that we had a Pokemon Direct on the 9th of January in 2020. That's and true. that if things are to be believed, that we would potentially see another Pokemon Direct at some point within that first week of January. And if our next yeah. podcast is the 11th, that is beyond the 9th. So we may have Pokemon news by the next podcast. That's all God, I'm I saying. Just want, I just want so. something, man. I miss Nintendo hype. Where's it at, please? We just got separate. I couldn't find it. No, I mean like right. like I just want like I finally want like a pre like a presentation. Oh, something. Oh, yeah, okay, I get what you mean. I want yeah. multiple. I don't want to wait for one game to be announced like once every two. I want give me like I don't even care if it's a full direct. Give me like a ten minute thing where you announce like two or three things. I miss right. it, please. And bro. going back to going back to what uh, Zeph was saying earlier too about the New Year's thing. That's sort of what I'm wondering too. Is I'm wondering if maybe they announced that there's going to be a direct on the New Year's event. I hope so, man. I really do. Yeah. I think they have to. Like, with, we'll, we'll talk about it more on the. It seems kind of weird for them to stream it, just to have to stream the fucking Earth. Why? Right. Rain, whatever. Uh, <laughs> come on. Right, 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 right. I, I think there will be yeah, some. Like, yeah. Or at the very least, like a teaser of oh, we're going to announce something in the next couple of weeks. 
Yeah. I mean, but there's, I mean, there's so much that we can see because there's things that we already know about. Like you said, Unite, Pokemon Snap, the Detective Pikachu sequel, plus Detective Pikachu, the original game coming to Switch, plus like, what were, what were the other titles? That Pokemon Sleep, like you said. There's a lot That's of weird okay. Pokemon stuff. Pokemon um, Sleep's not happening. That's like that uh, Heartbeat sensor. That's It's never coming out. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I think they realized that was dumb. But they're definitely going to have like a major mainline game. Oh, yeah, no. I, I think that. I think the people who are, if anyone's genuinely waiting for Pokemon Sleep, I think you. Uh, you can, I don't what, you think, you think there's going to be a gen, you think there's gonna major mainline game next year for Pokemon, Roger? Yeah, I think it's I think Diamond and Pearl. Pearl. Yeah, I think it's even Diamond I, Pearl. I, I actually really don't Bro, think so. Bro, next yeah. year's the Wait, anniversary. Really? They're going to go crazy. No, of course. I, I, it's I, a huge I, I'm, anniversary. I'm fully, uh, I'm fully on board with Roger because. Uh, yeah, so I'm biased as fuck about this, but uh, no matter how you cut it, uh, Gen 4, I think, is maybe the most important gen since 1 because it added online and a whole sure. bunch of crazy shit. So remaking that game for the 25th or whatever anniversary uh, seems pretty free. Wait, also, so do you guys think that's going to come out or is going to be announced? Yeah, I think, it, I, think it announced, I think it gets announced within the next two weeks and I think it releases at the end of next year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, yeah, on top uh, of that, apparently it's the 15th anniversary of Diamond and Pearl. 15th anniversary of Diamond and Pearl plus the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Man, there's no way wow. they don't go to mainline anniversary and not have a mainline game. Yeah. There's no, they, they will not do that. Yeah. They're going to secure the bag. They're going to go also, next year. Go I really the think that they, I think they went the DLC route for Sword and Shield specifically so they could prepare for this year. Yeah, I agree. I, I also think if you look at this year, right, like we didn't have really a mainline thing. We just had DLC for Sword and Shield. And, you know, taking into into consideration what's probably going to be out by the end of next year, which is the Switch Pro. I think if you have a holiday with a new Pokemon game and Breath of the Wild 2, to launch alongside whatever the Switch Pro thing is going to be, Switch is going to dominate in sales again. There's again. A rumored, uh, there's a rumored big Animal Crossing like patch for the year anniversary or something. Oh. Well, they already we know things that are coming to Animal Crossing as of March. We know the full Mario thing is coming to Animal Crossing because they announced that for oh, the anniversary. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So all Mario I stuff is coming in March. Okay, unless this patch is Shofu can have more than eight ramps. <laughs> right, right, Bro, right, right. Please. <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm already started. Yeah. They already fucked up. Yeah, I don't understand why you have a limit on bridges and Because ramps, they're a so. bunch of fucking clowns, Zeph. Like. Oh my god. Every fucking Maybe. chance Nintendo gets to be a fucking clown, they're gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Bunch of fucking bozos over there. No, not Bozo. And Sonic's now nah, listen. Sonic 30th anniversary is next year, bro. It's me. No, another bad game. game. Yes, yeah. sir. Bro, I'm ready. Give me the Sonic. Give no, me it's weird. It is it's weird that we still don't see what's gonna, what's gonna happen for the Sonic because anniversary. Because they're gonna get adventure remix. Hey, it's hey, time, hey, Mike. Hey, 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 hey. I, I calm down up there. I really want a new game. What the hell up there? Adventure is cool and all, but like, I want new stories. That's what Dude, I want. I, what, I don't want any. Just give me Static Mania 2. Give me Static Mania 2. Please. That's I don't want any new adventure. I don't need any of that. Give me Sonic Mania 2 with Pumpkin Hill. You can have Hill, Sonic Mania 2 without doing other stuff. That's what I want. It's Sonic's it's anniversary, anniversary, so they should have more than one game ready. They should. They should. I mean, Adventure remakes would be cool. If they if they do Sonic Adventure, if they did Sonic Adventure one and two, like the Crash remakes or whatever, that'd be incredible. Yes, yeah, that's what's that gonna happen. Be really cool. And I'm going to nah, fucking I evaporate. I don't. My soul will leave. I would even. I would, I would not want a Mania like Mania two. I would want a brand new two D Sonic game made by the Mania team. With that's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Mania, yeah. 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 Well, like it wouldn't be called Mania two, I think, because no, like definitely called Mania the 2. whole thing with Mania is like it's all of it's like Sonic's history and shit. I guess that's true. But I think the so, brand yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, cool. like, Sonic the Hedgehog, what number is it on? They should call Sonic 4 again, bro. They say, uh, fuck Sonic. Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah, the other Sonic 4. That shit was fake. Let the Sonic team, or the, the awesome. Mania team, make Sonic 4. Because, like, the, the first and only time I've liked 2D Sonic was when I played Mania New Levels. It, when I went back to old levels, wanted to fucking end it all. But when I played oh, the new thing. Press Garden's amazing. Uh, put the Zone 2 Act 2. Oh. Let's go. You got those jelly bounce. Bro, I'm losing my mind right now. I'm not that. Look, man. Unless I can get my chow to box your chow, I don't give a fuck. We're so. going to get boxing chow. You and me, we're going to box no, chows. I'm not playing. If they remake Static Adventure, you're always going to get chow garden. No doubt about it. It's fine. 
Don't I don't include want, me. I'm not playing with you. I just Come want on. new stories. I like I love the adventure series, but I'd rather just they spend all this time and do something new. Especially when they were like, yeah, we're not gonna talk about games for a bit. We're just gonna make sure they're good and put them out. Finally. After taking their several so billion dollar franchise, I don't care game. what game they make so long as I get Rouge the Bat. I'm good. Give me I, some Rouge the Bat. You're horny. Be horny. Oh, we're horny. You are horny. We've been through this, bro. We've been through Roger Horn. I got it right here. I got it right here. And we look for another door. I got it right here. I got it right here. I got it right here. And we look for another door. I am shaking to the mystery of the night. I ain't gonna let you get me. Why, why do so many members of Japan time have Rouge the Bat Evo? Is she a baddie? I shot a little baddie. Everybody loves Rouge. Come on. Get me out of here. No. Zeph's got a Rouge uh, emote. Oh, Fidel's got have... a Rouge emote. Oh, Look at him. Rouge, Rouge got the baddie. Mm. Rouge the Bat, man. Rouge and Lola Bat. I mean, yo, Lola Bat. You know what? We should, we should do this. Every uh, year, annually, let's do this. We're making a new tradition. Obviously, Lola Bunny, she's already been grandfathered in, so Lola Bunny's number one. However, <laughs> oh, every year, what are you doing? Just shut up. Hold on. This is what yes, we're going to no, do. Listen, listen, just listen. <laughs> every year, no, bro. every year, at the end of the year, yes, we should is. nominate a furry Jesus Christ! Okay, bro, what? Why are you guys? Oh, what? What? <laughs> Why, how did we get Last here? Year, we had little bunny. Yo, I'm the new husband going on. This is the show, you know. I don't fuck with that guy at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know him. Who's the guy this year? 2020. He's a whore. Where's my sound boy at? 2021, we'll nominate someone else too, but right now, Hall of Fame, Lola Bunny, and Rouge the Bat. There you go. We, 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 Hello? Call me Motion Plus because I'm swinging my Wii. Hey, what? Okay. okay. And with that, thank you guys for watching the Pan Time. Happy New Year's, everyone. Buzz on, buzz on. That's gonna be. I hope everybody in the chat had a happy holidays. I wish you a lovely New Year. Yes, sir. It was a good for show. That was a good, it was fun. That was a fun way to end it. Fun way to yeah, end it. Yeah, great year too, right. bro. Like, we, it was consistent for the first time. Yeah, it was really good. Well, it's going to have to be consistent oh, moving into next year if we actually yeah, end up doing what we're going to do. Oh, so. hell no. I mean, obviously, so I will say, that actually, people could listen to this. It's fine. It doesn't matter. I will say, the media kit for said thing would have been done already had I not been moving. But obviously, right. that took priority as soon as I moved in. That takes number one priority. But also, the offer didn't go anywhere, so we're still good. So it doesn't matter. Right. Um, and it's probably better to show them this podcast than last week's. So <laughs> so I think we're in a good position. Um, oh, by the way, what want do you want to do with uh, the episodes of Redacted? They're gone forever. You just put in... <laughs> we're just going to no, upload like... all that. No, they're Redacted. They're gone. They're gone forever. They're lost Okay, yeah, but no, but I, I was listening through most of them, and like okay. most of them, I feel like I can salvage them. There's some recent ones I feel like would be harder. Well, what you do, here's, 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 what, here's what you're going to do then. You want to take on some work? Here you go. You can go through and you can edit out those portions of the podcast, of the old ones, and we can upload them as the lost episodes, similar to like when there was the lost episode of SpongeBob. We'll upload the lost episodes of Japan Time, and all the other ones that are fine, we'll upload to Spotify like normal. And we'll have them all on there, and everyone can go listen, and we can start sending everybody to the thing once they're all uploaded. We'll have our RSS feed. Warchap will take care of all that stuff. We'll be so good my, to go. So my my thing is, a lot. Of, I think I'm worried about not putting them on Spotify though, because a lot of those are like very important episodes. Sure. <laughs> Where stuff happens. So sure, like, of course. So like I said, we'll put them on. We'll just label them lost episodes. That's fine. They won't be part of the numbered episodes. They'll be just. I, I don't know. It's up to you. You do it. You're yeah. taking it on. You do it. I'm leaving it up to you. Final way. That's it. Leaving it up to McDerrick. That's it. We will see you in 2021. Oh, the Lakers are losing. On, uh, they're losing. What? 
On January 11th. We'll be here on January 11th. And oh, uh, oh, oh, we'll be talking about our predictions for 2021 and Nintendo. So until then, thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye, everybody.